I love me some chicken shawarma. But half the recipes on YouTube either scream amateur hour or don't. So let me, a Lebanese American, show you how I make shawarma on the grill. Now to make this recipe, you're gonna need about two to three pounds of boneless chicken thighs. We're going with chicken thighs because it's great for grilling. Well, chicken breast runs the risk of becoming too dry. All right, next we need to make the marinade. Oh, another thing, this recipe has a ton of ingredients. And if we went through them one by one, we're gonna be here all day. But thankfully, I have the power of the force with me. And by force, I mean post-production. Roll it. Okay, our laundry list of ingredients are in the bowl. Give it a nice whisk. Okay, let's give it a nice taste test. Hmm, that's almost perfect. Eh, a touch more cinnamon and a little bit more curry powder. And why not, a little bit more salt. Okay, we're good. JK, we're not. All right, next dump our chicken into the bowl. And make sure you get every nook and cranny. Toss everything with your hands. Okay, I don't see any specks of raw meat. On to the next step. All right, next transfer our chicken into a zip top bag. Why not leave it in the bowl? Well, I don't have enough room on my fridge. Why are we putting it in a zip top bag? Because there's turmeric in the marinade, which has a bad habit of leaving yellow stains everywhere. And take it from a dog owner, yellow stains are really hard to get rid of. And finally, put it in the fridge so it can marinate overnight. Okay, we've been standing there on airplanes and the noise going early shooting stores. Okay, it's the next day. Our chicken is fully marinated and I'm wearing a shirt that really shows off my moves. Ladies, put the vibrator down and the lav mics off to the side so we don't get that weird ear rape effect like last time. And it's time to heat up the tortillas. All right, this is pretty simple. Just grab a corn tortilla. So on a grill set over medium high, just take our chicken and just some, and well, grill them. Now you don't have to use a propane grill. You can do it. You don't have to use a pro. Oh, oh, Hank, help forgive me. This is a medical disorder. Now you don't have to use a propane grill to make this, you can do this inside with a grill pan. But I want that nice bit of char to make this as close as we can to a spit style shawarma. Okay, all the chicken's on the grill. And check up on it after five or so minutes. Okay, after five or so minutes, it's time to flip. All right, this is what you want. Nice and cooked with a bit of char. All right, let these cook for about another five or so minutes. Okay, five minutes have passed. Take them off the heat, pressure these to a dish and cover them in aluminum foil. All right, let me just put on the next batch here. If possible, make sure you spread out the chicken thigh as much as you can. Rinse, repeat. Okay, once our chicken has rinsed a bit, chop it up into slices. Then grab yourself a nice warmed up pita. Put on a layer of tahum. I'll put a link to it right here. Place our chicken on top of it. Throw on some sliced red onions, diced tomato, some tahini sauce, and why not, more tahu. Finally, wrap it all up. And bada bing, bada boom, a nice delicious shawarma without having to use one of those big, expensive, complicated spit things. Uh, you know, I wasn't gonna do my usual fu funny last line, but my mouth is watering a lot, so. Let's just do the sign off right now. This has been Chase Cutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. And uh, I know you're expecting me to make a joke about the election, but I just want to grill for God's sakes.